Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is a Monday. It's the sixth day of July, my brother Jason's birthday, by the way. Aw, so happy birthday, Jason. Remind me to call him. Could you do that? Sure. All right. It's I also probably won't, but. National Fried Chicken Day. Oh, I love fried chicken. It's also National Hand Roll Day today. Hand roll? Yeah, hand roll day. H-A-N-D-R-O-L-L. Okay. So... Not sure what that means, but we'll look it up. Um, also, today is a movie star Monday. That means we have a movie star, and it's Monday. And our movie star today is Ernie Hudson. Uh, you know him, you love him. Yeah, from the Ghostbusters. He's also on a program on BET+. Plus. Going to be chatting with him about that. A second season just fired up. Going to be visiting with about that program. Going to be visiting with about a new Ghostbusters movie. Nice. Last time, we talked to him like a year ago. And uh, he was, at that time, wasn't at liberty to say anything about it. So I don't know how much he'll be able to say, but we'll find out. We're going to interrogate him. Coming up in a bit. (laughs) Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A study from the Colorado State University found that women are less likely to date a man who has a cat in his profile photo. Uh, So if I had a photo of me petting a kitty cat, you would be less attracted to me? I don't think it looks very masculine. Well, here's one thing I got to say. For Heidi, I would see that easily being the case. She's allergic to cats, so that would probably be a deal breaker. But is that normal for most women? Or most women like, well... I just don't think it's hmm. it's a very masculine thing to be holding a cat, and especially not in your profile picture. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I know several men who have cats, and they're manly men, so right. I don't know. Right, but do they have that in their profile No, picture? it's not like See, that's what I'm saying. No, a profile photo, they look like a lumberjack. But, that's what uh, I'm saying. You know, then they're around the kitty cat, and they turn into a big old baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, surveys and studies and such, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes, and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. An Indiana man whose truck was seen uh, weaving early Sunday morning, charged with a drunk driving offense. And he's he's used to this rigmarole. It was number 12. Yeah, 55-year-old. Oh How is that even possible? I don't know. How has he not been in don't prison know. before now? 50, he's from Indiana. Um, told Lord. a Wisconsin state trooper, so he was there, that he was traveling from Minnesota to Indiana, and he, quote, had a couple of bears. Uh, troopers uh, said Sanders, they, they saw his pickup weaving far right and then all the way crossing the the fog line and went into the center left lane. Not okay. No. Speech slurred, smelled of booze. They found some whiskey and some half-consumed beers and some marijuana in his truck. So all but two of his 11 prior drunk driving convictions were in Indiana. The most recent, 2018, 2019, were in Texas and Minnesota. So, yeah, this was also in Indiana. No, he was in, uh, where was he for this one? In Wisconsin. It's totally okay to have a drink yeah. and have a good time. But don't drive. But do not drive. No, 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 no. Bad there idea. so many options. Yeah, there are more options now than ever, ever, ever before. So, please, get a ride. Don't drink and drive. And if you have issues with that, maybe reach out you to need the folks. Help. Yeah, timeforrehab.com. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. There's a new movie that'll be uh, coming out uh, about Mike Tyson. So he's going to be featured in the movie. It'll be about him. But guess who's playing Mike Tyson? Who? Jamie Foxx. 
I, he does a really good impression I can see of him. That. And he does a really good impression he's of Mike Tyson. He's maybe not bulky enough, but unless he's well, going to um, really bulk up for this and film. And I think I think he is a pretty I think he's a, you know, f- a physically fit dude. So yeah, but he's kind of I don't know, scrawny. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say scrawny. Okay. But yeah, I, I don't... He's, he's not, not Mike Tyson's size. No, he's not built like... He's not a boxer either. But, you know, they call it acting. They might actually, uh, you know, either have him bulk up or... I don't know. Somehow. I think maybe only a boxer should play a boxer in a movie <laughs> just, about boxers. Stop it. <laughs> Game of Thrones author George R. R. Martin says... I wonder what the two R's stand for, by the way. I don't know. Uh, he says the quarantine has helped him finish his new book series, Winds of Winter. The book is expected to hit the shelves in 2021. This has been Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by Channel Surfer TV.com. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now your scoop of the day. It comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. NASA is offering 20 grand as a reward. Everybody listen up. Here's what you can do to win 20 grand. Design the best toilet for their flight to the moon for 2024 <laughs> so they're saying hey we really got to come up with a good plan for this so nasa is offering a twenty thousand dollar award to the person who designs the very best space toilet for their flight they to don't the moon already have a toilet in 2024 apparently they have one but it must not be good enough i'm not sure huh. so they're saying hey we gotta have a better plan so i'm thinking I've got some ideas, so I'm going to drop some prototypes. That'd be great, honey. Go see get if us I can. $20,000. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, you know, so the rest of you can just, you know, you can sit this one out because uh, I got it all figured out. It's going to involve uh, a Dyson vacuum cleaner and... Uh, I would think something like that would be worth more than twenty grand. Well, I suppose if you get a patent on it, you get more than that because you get like every time to make one. I don't know. I'm not sure. They're just saying we need some help. So I've got a link to the story. If, you, if, if you're a designer, in all seriousness, I think it'd be cool if one of our listeners would win. Uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci is back in the news. He says people should stop going to bars in order to stop the spread of coronavirus. The thing that's interesting is like he was completely out of the spotlight for like a month. And now all of a sudden he's getting back into the spotlight again. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if people will listen to him. I don't know. Probably not. United States has bought nearly the entire global supply of remdesivir. The antiviral drug uh, that can be that can speed the recovery of patients infected with coronavirus. So, almost the entire supply on the planet has gone to the U.S. of A. Researchers in China get ready for this. They've discovered an infectious form of swine flu in pigs that has the potential to become a pandemic. What? What's this one all about? It seems like about every month we have some additional thing that's happening. Whatever happened to the murder hornets? Did we miss that? Yeah, I, I think we skipped that. the murder hornets. But then there was hornets. like Sahara Desert Sand. There's, it's like 2020 has been one crazy year. Uh-huh. Um, parlor. I'm feeling in November it'll be done. I don't know. I, I, I just hope it's done soon. It'd be great if it was done tomorrow. Uh, parlor. Have you heard of that? You know what that is? Is P-A-R- that near, like Twitter? Okay, yeah, kind of. Parlor. P A R L E R. It's a social media app, and they've doubled their users nice. in just a short number of time. Yep. But here's the thing. Because they offer free speech. But here's the thing. If they had 15 users, that's not a lot. How many users do they have? Is it lots? I don't know, but oh, I've seen, right here. I've seen um, lots of people talking about it. It says doubled its users in less than a week and now has 2 million accounts. As many continue to leave Twitter over claims yep. of censorship. Yep. And there are people leaving Facebook left and right as well. Yeah. And then there are people like Heidi just getting her account closed on Facebook. <laughs> All the time. Anybody ever been in Facebook jail? No? No? <laughs> Me neither. Heidi? Yes. How many times, Heidi? I don't know. Yeah, you don't even keep track. <laughs> and one last story here. Oregon voters are pushing to legalize psychedelic mushrooms. <laughs> so that's the next thing oh, on the list. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies to see what they have to offer. 
all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. It's another Movie Star Monday, this time with Mr. Ernie Hudson. Good to have you on the program once again, sir. How are you doing? I am so good. Thank you. It's um, Yeah, it's great to, to be with you. So last time we spoke was about a year ago because you were just getting ready for family business on BET+. Plus. Now season number two is out as we speak. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun show. I think a great show. It's one of the most uh, fun shows I've ever worked on. Uh, this is our second season. Uh, it's been very done well in the ratings, and I'm really excited about it. Now, you've, over the years, had a chance to play a lot of different characters. What do you think of playing the character on, on the family business? Is this an, anything at all like you or not quite like you? Well, you know, everything is like me in some way, uh, but it's, you no, know, this person is not uh, the person I'd be. But it's a, a guy who, if I believed what he believed, that um, I had to succeed by any means necessary and didn't feel I had the opportunities. Otherwise, maybe I might be like this character. I've never felt that way. He uh, can be a ruthless man, and, and but he loves his family, and uh, we see he's a multi-layered character that I haven't had a lot of chance to play those guys, and I'm loving uh, getting a chance to sort of explore him and in, in an indirect way explore my own questions about what's going on in my world as well. Um, I think when movies work well, we see ourselves and we kind of go, oh, that if the integrity is there and the truth is there. And I think this is one of those shows that you know, we, we see a lot. The Family Business is on BET Plus, and, and that project uh, started a year ago, and the first season went really, really well. Yeah, the ratings were great, and people loved it. There's a lot of action. It's the family, the kids are I mean, just great supporting cast that, you know, we got some really good people to come in and, and play and you know, and it's about a guy who, you know, in the beginning thinks he's about to retire and step away and turn things over to the kids. And, of course, a life does not work out the way we think it will, but uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on. One of my favorite movies is uh, Ghostbusters, and I remember that being my first time seeing you on the big screen. But you that wasn't the beginning of your career. You were in many things before that, too, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I've, I had been uh, acting, see, Ghostbusters was in 84, so almost 20 years before um, you know, doing a lot of theater and some TV stuff, um, uh, a few movies and a movie with um, John Candy. Uh, but I was, yeah, I've been working, and then Ghostbusters came up, and it was life changing in a way. Not that after Ghostbusters things just opened up, but it was it was life changing in a way that its influence has um, you know been throughout my life. Uh, it's impacted me and my family, and so now to um, get to. Another movie that we shot last year uh, is coming out next March. It's really exciting to to get together with the people who were a part of that experience. And um, I just think it's an extraordinary uh, movie, and uh, I'm really excited about it. But Can we talk about who all we're going to see back in the, the next uh, installment of Ghostbusters? Is that all top secret right now? I don't think so. I, I, you know, I'm not sure what I'm... Nobody's giving me a list of what I can and cannot talk about. I think it's pretty well known that everybody comes back. Um, I, uh, uh, Rick Moranis is not coming. He didn't come back, but... Um, but everybody else is there, and um, it's pretty, you know, pretty. It just like it was just a wonderful experience. The new cast too, um, really incredible, and um, yeah. And, and but uh, Jason Reitman, who produces and directs, uh, is Ivan Reitman's uh, son. Ivan did the first two movies, um, and Jason is an amazing filmmaker in his own right, but. Um, he, he just came up with a script that's just really, really special. And I think I think it's going to be a, a, an exceptional movie. So. And I just watched a thing on Netflix called The Movies That Made Us, and there's a whole episode about Ghostbusters. That was just really, I learned a lot of things about the, the, the movie that I had no clue. And uh, it, it, uh, it I loved the movie before that, but I love it even more now. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was, um, you know, I think so, the movies of the 80s, you know, not just Ghostbusters, but there were a lot of wonderful movies. And uh, it it had a big impact, and and I'm I'm thankful. You know, you, I've done a lot of movies, but to have one like a Ghostbuster that people really connect with and you know identify with and introduce their children to, and um, that's really special. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us again today, sir. Great talking to you. Thank you. Stay safe.
Again, our guest today has been Ernie Hudson and Carl Weber's The Family Business on BET+. Plus. All the info in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. Who's that, John? The Apollo astronauts' footprints on the moon could stay there for 100 million years. 100 million? Yeah. They left some footprints behind when they were walking around on the moon way back when. Due to the fact that there is no atmosphere on the moon, therefore there is no wind and there is no water to blow things or wash things, Arizona State University scientist Mark Robinson told uh, told Space that traces of Apollo exploration could last between 10 and 100 million years. I'm not really sure what that means. Space. That must be a magazine. Because <laughs> he just told it to space. Is space like a magazine, do you think? I, it, it must be. Otherwise, and it's capital S for space. I clearly don't Or a listen. website. I don't read those t- sort of things. You, don't listen, you weren't listening to me? Is that what you're trying to say? I don't listen to you either. <laughs> I and I don't that. read those kinds of things. It's not really in my pay well, grade. Well, this certainly has been today's fun fact. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes, and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline, North Korea. Um, Here's your headline. North Korea is threatening to create a, quote, sensational event, end quote, that will lead to the destruction of America. Meanwhile, Americans say, hold my beer, North Korea. It's like we're going to destruct ourselves. So I I don't know what their plan is exactly. I've got a link to the story if you want to read all the details. Uh, I I think it's probably a bad idea to be saying stuff like Mm -hmm. that. I don't know. Just a, I've got a link to the story. I don't know all the details, and I'm I'm not going to go there. But uh, it's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for a weird news story brought to you by weirdgiftofthedaycom Florida man reportedly stole, then crashed, then abandoned a $1 million yacht. He evaded police for three months before finally being arrested last week. Oh, he was the, in it for three months. I was no, going to say, well, I don't no, know if steal it. Three and- months ago is when he crashed it and got out of there, but they, they've been tracking him. Oh. The nautical no-gooder, that says that in a story. Nice. That's funny. 28-year-old Donovan, Donovan Russell Jester stole the boat from a dock in St. Petersburg, Florida, then let, uh, left it after he crashed it into a channel marker piling. The boat then drifted into a nearby oyster bed, it was discovered by local deputies. They were able to identify Jester by a thumbprint that he left on the Uh-oh. cabin door. He was charged with grand theft vessel for a joyride. Uh-oh. Faces up to I thirty. I didn't know that was a thing. No, thirty years in prison is what you get for grand theft vessel. Yeah. Stolen yacht was identified by authorities as a forty-six foot Genoa later worth nine hundred thousand dollars. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably never have a yacht. Oh, yeah, yeah. We was, I was going to get one of those, and I thought, you know, I don't really want that. <laughs> I don't even know where I would where I'd park the thing. So, yeah, that's, that's why. Thanks for listening to today's Weird News. John and Heidi. Time now for your moment of duh. Brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Man arrested as he was walking through the Bronx. Why? Well, he was carrying a grenade launcher and wearing a bulletproof vest. <laughs> well, okay. What? 23-year-old Edison Cruz, uh, University Heights section of the borough, when police happened to notice that he had a weapon strapped to his back. Cruz was by Andrews Avenue on 179th at the time he was spotted. Police 
Then got a warrant to search the man's apartment, which was nearby. Found a shotgun, firearm, receivers, drill bits, manufacturing tools, a firearm manufacturing template, a shotgun barrel and stock, and a hatchet and some Glock parts. Cruz has been in custody since Thursday, but charges are still pending. According to police, he faces charges including criminal possession of a weapon and violation of local laws. So... No, oh, it's it's pending because I don't know if what he was doing was illegal. It was kind of weird. It was kind of creepy. Maybe it wasn't too smart to just go wander in the streets with a grenade launcher and a bulletproof vest. You're freaking people out doing stuff uh, like that. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. That's a good plan. But there it is. Today's moment of duh. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida, or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, tell me here. Fake news or Florida? A conch key restaurant worker was arrested after he stripped naked and chased his co-workers with a knife, then passed out drunk in the manager's office. Fake news or Florida? I'm going to say Florida. It's a true story. (laughs) Can you even imagine? He was arrested. Probably fired. It doesn't say that. Uh, Yeah, probably. You never know. It's like uh, next week, it's the employee of the month. (laughs) Wow, how did you swing that? Well, he had one bad day. But, you know, (laughs) he always gets to work on time. Uh... Now, I'm pretty sure he's probably not working there anymore but uh that's not a great plan it's not a good way to spend the weekend i'll tell you that thanks for listening to today's fake news or florida on the john and heidi show john and heidi. this portion of the john and heidi show is brought to you by the john and heidi show that sounds kind of funny but it's true go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the john and heidi show here's the best part they can carry the show for free they play a couple commercials but it doesn't cost them anything every month so if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. And I think this is just a cool story here. Uh, Here's a headline. Man hands out free coffee to his neighbors every morning, and he's doing this from his kitchen window. A man in San Francisco is making a positive impact on the community by handing out free coffee to essential workers every morning. So I see on a little sign here it says, free coffee, light or medium roast, uh, donate at, and there's a place you can donate if you want. And over here, con, uh, let's see, free coffee, contactless pour over i'm not sure what all this is there's a i'm trying to read the sign and it's just like a little sign in a photo here uh sign sits out in front of his kitchen window offering free coffee to people in the neighborhood it says even if they don't get a cup of coffee they can stop by the window and chat he says we have a lot of people in the neighborhood who either are nurses or doctors or postal workers and he says they're out there on the front lines risking their lives every day they deserve something they're always happy to see us in the morning. And I see photos of people that are smiling, holding their cups of coffee. So is this from his house yeah, window? Yeah, from his kitchen window at his so home. So he opens up his window. From and 8 a.m. till hey. noon, he serves his community seven days a week. He says, my wife has been gracious to move her meetings to later in the afternoon so she can watch the boys in the morning and I can hand out coffee. Then we have lunch together and we hand off and I hang with the boys. It says we try to make a, a good day. On average, he does 10 to 15 cups a day. Okay. So that's not bad. In my mind, I was thinking hundreds for some reason, but just a neighborhood thing. Right. But now that the word is out. (laughs) (laughs) Now that we're talking about it on the radio. What's the address? Yeah. uh, Put that in the show notes. (laughs) Actually, it probably is. I've got a link to the story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.